Actinic keratosis and skin cancer can significantly impact the lives of patients and also places substantial burden on health systems and societies worldwide. In this short video, Professor Eggert Stockfried, Dr. Neil Scheer, and Dr. Gary Goldenberg discuss the impact of AK on patient quality of life and the continued value of education for AK management. The impact of an actinic keratose on the quality of life in a patient is that first of all, the patient do not recognize the disease. So that's a risk for the patient. But we know already when you have actinic keratosis, your UV bank account, what we're always telling the patient is full. That means you receive too much sun in your, in her or in his life. So therefore you have to inform as early as possible that they have to take care about that disease, that you have to treat it, that they have to prevent sun exposure, and that they have to revisit the doctor at least every year or even every six months. When a person has AK, they have aging of the skin as part of that. And to be able to treat that is a huge benefit to them. Patients will say things like, my skin hasn't felt like this in 20 years after the treatments are finished. And it really makes them feel not only good about that and their personal well-being and appearance, but also about the fact they could do something and they're prepared to do it again if need be over time. And that's really helpful. It's helpful for their general health, but it's very helpful for their quality of life. The impact on treatment and the relation to quality of life, there's a clear relationship. We published that a couple of weeks ago in an international journal. We asked patients, what is your main impact? What is your main quality of life in terms of treatment? It's a short treatment duration. There's a clear answer on that short treatment duration, short inflammation during the treatment, and the recovery is after only maybe two or three weeks. That's important for the patient. When I'm treating a patient with topical therapy, I have to be able to explain to them that this might sting a little bit. And I want to be able to do it in a way that they really understand that. So they're not surprised. They don't feel angry about it. And in the end, it doesn't hurt them more than it should. And so we talk about those strategies and the timing makes a big difference. Patients take ownership of that. They have expectations that are met, and then the ultimate results are also met. So it all seems to work out if we keep it clear. One important piece of advice for patients, and this is what I tell my own patients when I see them in the office, is to make sure you follow up. Once you've been diagnosed with AK, it's very important you follow up with your dermatologist. Because a lesion that you may think is nothing can be progressing from a precancerous, totally preventable lesion, which is an actinic keratosis, to an invasive squamous cell skin cancer, which now has to be cut out.